What's going on, everybody? Uh, we've got a whole lot of new decks to play today. Uh, first one, we're going to be pairing up the Kryptonians. We've got Superman and Zod put together. It's very similar to my Superman Doomsday deck I played the other day, uh, but obviously we had to swap out the Anarchy cards for uh, Satyrany cards. So it's slightly slower than that deck. We're rocking um, Ritual Sacrifice, Deimos, Prometheus, just to slow things down just a little bit. And Riddler, the silver turns are really where we're trying to start smacking our powers down. And then we have double Yara, double Metallo. Since we have a decent amount of five power cards, in the mid game we want to start having some really big swings and then Yara and Wonder Woman and Superman Recruit and all that jazz. Um, there's so much testing to do. I've actually had a pretty hard time building decks so far this season. Just because we're starting to have so many good cards that I don't really know uh, what to play. Uh, but let's hop on into a game and see how we can do. Alrighty. Oh, we're playing against Willow! Look at that! It looks like he's playing the Rick Flag bursty combo thing that I was talking about the other day, which is a, another deck that I have built uh, that you'll see over the next couple days. No, not Champ. Go away, Champ. So we start with Minotaur. The real question is, what are they hiding back there? Hiya. Yeah. That's no bueno. Uh, let's get that dodge going. Let's go... Steve onto Zod, because I think we're going to need double leader attack to not just die next turn. There's a lot of aggression coming at our face here. This all up. Pop the shields. They can double trade, and that means 12 damage is coming to Zod's face. Or at least 9. Oh, they got another evade in the way. Okay. That Harley is going to stay alive. Unfortunately. <laughs> Not much we can do about it right now. Uh, let's go Grodd. Although they're going to double car us. And I don't think I can really stop that. Unless I kill Gordon right now with double leader ability, which would suck a lot. But it also would exhaust that. Huh. The only problem is they're going to start drawing and we're not. But if I don't do that, they're going to swing, swing, pop, swing, probably kill Zod with Harley next turn. Hmm. I'm going to greet it. I don't think it's the right play. Or at least I'm not confident it's the right play. Because, like I said, they're going to squad car. They could pop that. And if they have Rick Flag, it's just ultra done. You don't stand a chance. That also helps. That's probably almost enough to kill Zod. And they could trade. They already used Batgirl, but that doesn't really matter for them. That's pretty close to killing Zod. So we're gonna have to use him while we can. Is that 
the best you can do. He gets invincible. We'll hit that. Yeah, we know that's a problem. We've got two, but both of those are exhausted, so it should be at least a little difficult for them to not use Harley to kill Blood Beetle. We'll see, though. Boomerang! I didn't know King Shark got speed like that. That is interesting. That one I did not know. Let's go friends in high places. I think we have to go Superman. That Harley did so much work. I'll never stop fighting. Just clear that. I don't think there's any way we get to another Zod activation, but if we do, Deimos not likely to be useful unless they play Gordon. have to hit that. Although it's very tempting to just preserve the shield. And go like Metallo plus Deimos. I think I might save Deimos, actually. They've got at least nine to get through Superman. Right, I'm glad I saved Deimos. We definitely want to kill Harley next turn. Ooh, Cupid's scary. Hit a leader, please. Hit a leader. Thank you. That was a scary game. Let's go get another one. All right, we've matched up with Killer playing Mono Might. Mm. I like Crypto and Steve here. I think Metallo's just a little too iffy. I love both of these leader abilities, by the way. Definitely just go Antiope here. If they, like, play super strength on flex, I can Superman it next turn using Steve. Which is, like, the biggest thing we'd be scared of right now. That's perfectly fine. I assume they're going to pop the shield with an, uh, trading into Antiope, trying to set up a flex on Wonder Woman next turn. Oh, they're not. Okay. Well, that just means I can Crypto on Antiope, crack that shield, Steve onto Superman, and get rid of that pretty large threat. They invested Crypto Super Strength into Flex. Obviously, they got a free Bronze action in return. 
But I think as a whole, we came out okay here. Now, we could play Lobo next turn. The concern is that they can play or use Superman to clear that. But we also have to get the Superman used at some point anyway. Up, up, and away. That's an interesting card. Was that from Flex? Or are they just running that? Okay. I think since we drew that, we're going to go Lobo into Crypto. And we'll just pass for now. You know, it's almost guaranteed that they'll use, if not Wonder Woman and Superman, then like Lobo Superman or Crypto, probably Crypto Superman. But it still gets them to use something additional, clearing Lobo. And then we have Zod to clear Steel if we need to next turn. It'll also exhaust Wonder Woman, and we're getting into our gold turns where we have some decent fight. cards ready to go. That doesn't count for Kong, right? Yeah. That's invincible, not shield. So one of our cryptos should be able to kill Kong. So that's some pretty incredible value May for the us. Gods grant us their favor. Or we'll have to double crypto into that. Which is still fine. Oh dang, taking that damage. I think we're coming out ahead here. E Apollo does a little iffy. We still have to use these two to clear Kong. Zod is going to hit that. Unfortunately, us having nothing else to play here is very bad. But next turn, we have Superman. Their Wonder Woman is exhausted. We can play Brainiac to start getting some card advantage back. I don't want to use Superman on Hippolyta. I feel like they're going to have much better things to use it on. This has just been, like, two Might decks. I mean, obviously we're Tyranny, but, like, all of the beefiness of Might just going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. We've basically canceled each other out, getting into the gold turns. Would they give us Courage? That could be good at some point. We're probably going to trade in Crypto here. I'll never stop fighting. Let's hit that for sure. I think this is actually a really good time to go for Mercy Graves. I mean, we had nothing else to play anyway, but... Let's see what they have to go for. Bibbo. Okay. May the gods grant us their favor. Do I ever just culling here? Culling and trade? I don't think so. Eh, maybe actually, because it'll clear the board. We can get Metallo out. Hit that. Obviously, they have Superman and Wonder Woman online this turn if they want it. We are one turn away from... Not next turn, but the turn after we can double activate here. Brainiac will draw us a card, which is where we want to be in life. 
Do we have the intern bug? Or is it just lagging, waiting for Brainiac to go? Oops. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what's happening here. Maybe just a temporary connection issue here. Instead of opponent disconnected, I assume they're going to reconnect. Hippolyta is a great top deck. Although, like I said, Wonder Woman goes here and clears. Superman goes here and clears. But then Zod or Superman can kill Wonder Woman the turn after. If they don't clear this, Courage is good at some point. But more than likely, if they're still disconnected... Alright, they reconnected now. Alright. Let's see what they got going on. I was hoping that this game wasn't going to end like that. It's been a good game so far. May the gods grant us their favor. I'll never stop fighting. Okay. I mean, Steve is pretty good here. If for nothing else, then to clear that and we can kill Wonder Woman. I'll never stop fighting. Right, now we have the charge advantage and they're just going to retreat. Alrighty, well that is some Kryptonian action. This deck is, I feel like, very stressful, but it, it played pretty well. Um, that is our first of our Suicide Squad decks, although this is not a Suicide Squad uh, deck at all. Um, we've got a whole bunch of stuff getting ready to go for when next season starts, which is in about 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.